Hello folks, Kyle here, Dark 30 Outdoors. I'm out here on Allen Creek Lake. Mostly just kind of a shakedown. I, I changed some things about the boat to try to make it a little bit better, a little bit better, more customization for my fishing. Um, I'm also, I'm wearing a lapel mic, so I'm trying to improve my sound on my videos. We'll see how that goes, I'm playing with that. Um, the water looks good. I'm at, I'm at the lower end of the lake. It's uh, March, March 21st, I believe. So I'm not really expecting to, to catch anything. I thought about uh, coming out here and doing this and then running up to West Branch, but the work on the boat, uh, it, it seemed to take a little bit longer than I thought. And I didn't want to be rush around, rush around. I thought, you know what, it's a beautiful day. I'll just come out here on Alum Creek and uh, enjoy the day. If I catch something great, that'd be a like a bonus you know today is mostly just uh checking out how the how it goes with the mic how it goes with the new setup in the boat how it feels uh so far things are going well i, I kind of like it i'll show you a couple things here the seat in the bow it was in that pedestal mount right there I could never get that out of there, and I found out that it had been glued in. I, I had to take that whole base out, and I was able to pound it out. So that's that just completely opens up my bow. I'm gonna have a lot more room to operate up in the bow this this spring and summer. That'll be really really nice. And then a really small subtle change that I made. If you look right down here, I moved the battery box back about eight inches. That might not seem a lot, but when I'm trolling and when I'm casting in the back of the boat, you know, just that little bit more space between this seat and that that bulkhead, that's gonna make a little bit of a difference. And then another thing that I'm gonna do on this boat shakedown trip, my top five Saw guy spots at Allen Creek Lake. Now, and any good fisherman doesn't give up all of his secrets, right? These are going to be well-known community spots, so I don't want anybody getting too upset with me. But uh, it's a good place to start, right? So uh, I think it's about time that uh, I fire up the motor and get over to spot number one. So hang loose. Stay with me. Top spot number one for saw guys at Alum Creek Lake is going to be the dam. Right there we have the east side. Over here we have the west side. I'm coming up on it now. These rocks, if you hit this at the right time of year and the right time of day or night, according to seasonal patterns, this is a really good this is the top spot for saw guys on Allen Creek Lake. It absolutely is. It's not a secret. A lot of people know about it, but this is a great starting spot. If you're going to be targeting saw guys at Allen Creek Lake, you definitely need to uh, definitely need to hit the dam for sure. Stay tuned. Spot top spot for saw guys number two is coming right up. Top spot for Saw Guy at Allen Creek Lake number two, out in front of the beach. Again, focusing on seasonal movements, the right time of day or time of night, the right wind. This, is, this can be a great spot for Saw Guys. Top spot number two at Allen Creek Lake for Saw Guys, the beach. You gotta understand your depths. You can uh, you can jig this and you control this, and you can catch saw guys here. I promise you, this is another great starting spot for saw guys out in front of the beach at Allen Creek Lake. Stay tuned for number three.
Alum Creek top saw guy spot number three that is the Cheshire Road Causeway see all those rocks we also like to refer to that as riprap the bridge area offers some good current and it all offers really good access to deep water that is my uh, top spot number three for saw guy at Allen Creek Lake the Cheshire Road Causeway I'm on the south side both sides are equally good for saw guy again top spot number three at Allen Creek Lake for saw guy okay folks top Saw Guy Spot at Alum Creek Lake number four. I bring you the causeway at State Route 3637. See all those beautiful rocks? All that riprap? And again, we've got a bridge that offers some really nice current at the right times of year. I'm obviously not going to fish up this way today. Uh, I don't know if the camera's picking it up, but the, the water is brown. I mean, it looks like coffee with cream. <laughs> um, it's dirty up this way, so. But anyway, I wanted to motor on up here and, and show you the top saw guy spot at Allen Creek Lake, number four. Again, this is a community spot. People know about it. It's a good starting point. There are lots and lots of good places to fish on this lake. But for those of you that are new to the lake, new to the area, new to saw guy fishing, it's a great place to start, man. Stay tuned for spot number five. Okay, folks, top spot for saw guys at Allen Creek Lake number five. And yes, that's correct. That is a boat ramp. That is the Cheshire Road boat ramp. Boat launch. See all those rocks? All that riprap? The right time of year. The right time of day. That is money. Again, access to deep water, prevailing winds, it's often blowing bait fish and such right up in there. That is uh, one of the top spots for saw guys at Allen Creek Lake. So that's my top five. I don't know, maybe I'll bring you a bonus, huh? Stay tuned. Okay, folks last spot I teased that there might be a bonus well here you go top spots for saw guy at Alum Creek this is bonus spot that up there uh, let me see if I can get my bearings here that right up there it's the dog park I know this footage is a little shaky but all out in front of this stump bed. This holds saw guy. This holds bass. And this holds muskies. It will also hold your lures if you're not careful. So <laughs> anglers beware. But uh, bonus saw guy top spot at Allen Creek Lake. The stump flat right out in front of the dog park. That's about all I got for you folks. Uh, I got a couple more spots I'm gonna hit. Um, 